Armel, one month into your Premier League career, does it feel like you've been here forever or has it flown by? I said to him very quick and um, yeah, I hope that everyone is happy to see me here and uh, happy about my performances. Did you expect to play as much as you have this early? No, I didn't really think so. Um, I thought that in the beginning it would be a bit difficult to adapt, but I think, um, as I said, I set it in very quick and um, it makes it easier to uh, adapt on the game, on the rhythm. We spoke to Roman a couple of weeks ago. He said there's, there's a little group of you on the same estate in Winchester, so you've got some familiar neighbours. Yeah, I, I have three neighbours, Musa, Sally and Roman. Um, I think we live in uh, really close to each other and uh, it makes it easy maybe to come for training uh, together and uh, it's uh, like family. Here's Alanga running through, that's a brilliant tackle by Bella Kocha. Amazing bit of defending by the youngster, timed it quite superbly. How do you find it like after training? You, you said off camera you're, you're into your gaming, do you get much of a chance to do that? How do you feel your time? Always using the time like I'm Reading books after training to calm down. It's really, really helpful. Keeps you relaxed. Yeah. Any books you'd recommend to us? I read Rio's book. I think it's a documentary. Rio Ferdinand? Yeah, Rio Ferdinand. And um, yeah, it's quite interesting. Is he one of your idols as a central defender? Yeah, because I know him um, personally. And uh, yeah, he's a very, very good guy. Um, he has a, a big career. How did you guys come to meet? Over a friend in Germany. Um, we uh, met, I think, on a game. He came to watch my game and um, yeah, after that we tried to speak. Um, he gave me advice as well. I was very happy about my move to England and uh, yeah, it's, um, for me it's a, it's a, real, it's a, a hero and um, yeah, I try to copy him a bit. Feels like you already have a strong understanding with Sally alongside you, you just said you guys are neighbours as well. How much does that off-field connection help with you on the pitch? I think we have, we have in the team, we, we are close to each other and uh, it helps It helps me um, to grow, to understand the game. You mentioned the fans before. I think back to the home game against Chelsea when it was a really special atmosphere inside the stadium. What have been kind of your first impressions of St Mary's is a place to play, but also your relationship with the supporters, how do you feel that's growing? Um, I think um, the, the fans, they're always pushing us. Um, here is calm, you don't have a lot of pressure. You can play, focus on the game, but uh, especially on the Chelsea game. The atmosphere was amazing and uh, we enjoyed it and uh, tried to um, give the fans something back and uh, we, um, we get that and um, yeah, we want to want to um, make the fans happy the whole season, be a successful team and I think then the fans will be proud. Did you know much about your teammates before you arrived and what has kind of been your early impressions of the team as a whole? Yeah, I know some, uh, like uh, Prouzy. Everyone knows he's a set piece uh, specialist and um, yeah, but I don't know anyone um, before. So you were actually born in France, weren't you? How, how young were you when you moved to Germany? Uh, I think since I'm born, um, I moved to Germany. Um, my father had a career there and uh, yeah, we used to live together, all together. I'm just born there on a vacation trip and uh, yeah, after that I'm moving straight to Germany. What was special about Bochum? Why did that become uh, such a good home for you and, and a foundation to build your career? Because I played there since I'm 17 or 16 and uh, I get the first time the chance to show up on a, on a big level and um, yeah, that's why I'm becoming a pro and uh, yeah, it would always be a special place for me. Is there something different about the Bundesliga because we see it started to become a bit of a trend with a lot of young English players will go out there. Is it different in the opportunities that young players get? Is that part of the culture in German football? I would say after years it becomes a culture thing. Uh, in Germany maybe you will have um, as a foreign player better chances to play as well. 
But as I said, you're playing here in the best league. Uh, you have to be 100% every week and uh, that makes it sometimes a bit difficult, especially when you're playing for bigger teams. Uh, you have more pressure and um, I think when you're in Germany is a bit more relaxed. You can really focus on football and uh, maybe that makes it easy to play. And coming to Southampton, you've obviously come into a club where, again, the focus is so much on young players. You're one of 10 new players that have come in this summer. Just talk to us about that kind of dynamic and already, I guess, you're having to welcome new players in. Yeah, um, I think that fact had a big impact on my move as well, because um, I saw um, the work with young players here. How are you finding the manager and what language do you two speak in? Uh, we speak in, often in English because um, we have other and I don't want to feel special. Um, but sometimes you have uh, things you want to say in Germany for him maybe it's easier to talk to me. And um, yeah, I think uh, the manager is an open guy. Um, he helps me. Um, he's given me his advice. He criticizes me, uh, criticizes me as well. And uh, yeah, for a young player, you need you need to have this con um, this communication between your coach and uh, your teammates. And uh, he, we done so far really good, and we want to continue on this on this uh, way.